Welcome back to Raising the Bar. This is uh, episode 18 of this Let's Play of Might and Magic 6, and we're still in the Temple of Bar on the Castle Iron Fist map. This is the second half of a two-part episode where we're doing this dungeon. We should see it through to completion this time through. As you can see, we're watching an accelerated playthrough, about 400% original game speed, which should keep the episode length nice and short. Uh, I apologize for missing a couple of weeks of uploads. I do have an announcement coming up later this episode about the future of this series, but I'll get into that a little later. It isn't, I'm not winding it up though, it's not going away, but I am gonna take a bit of a break. I'll explain why. Um, okay, so we're heading up the stairs. This is the upper floor of the dungeon and what we're looking at is a large raised platform with an altar on it and some nasty spellcasters that we're just trying to take out. They have uh, pretty strong ranged attacks um, here and we can't really resist their magic. Um, there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of combat uh, against large waves of enemies in this episode. So um, I'll sort of uh, come in and out of talking about what we're seeing on screen. Um, I do want to talk um, at some length though about a specific puzzle in this dungeon which is a bit of a mystery uh, in the Might and Magic community. It's going to pretty much fly by on the video but I want to talk about it at some length. Um, and that's the central room in the, uh, the central sort of chamber in the middle of the first room. Uh, there are four doors, um, one on each side of this chamber, north, east, west, south, uh, and they have to be opened in a specific order to be able to get through them. Now, you can brute force this puzzle pretty easily because if you activate the door in, at the wrong point in the sequence, it hurts the party. So you can work out fairly trivially what the right sequence is. Uh, which is northeast, west, south, like news. Um, but it feels like there's a, elements of a puzzle here that pose a bit of an unsolved mystery in the uh, in the community. Uh, no one really knows how you're supposed to work out this puzzle. But there are clues, and it's just a matter of trying to work out how the clues relate to the solution. Um, is is a little tricky. By each door, uh, there is a, a plaque that uh, has a, a message on it. The message is the same on each of the four doors. It says, um, as the winds blow, the seasons change, and only at the end of all uh, can the doors be opened. As you can see here, big ambush moment there, standing on that uh, raised platform. Um, so that's the text. Uh, it's the same on all of the plaques, but the material uh, the, that the signs are made of uh, against each door is said to be different. Uh, there's one wood, one silver, one copper, and one um, lapis. Um, and in fact, that's the, that's the sequence in which you're supposed to activate them, right? Wood, silver, copper, lapis. So I've been really trying to rack my brains, trying to work out this puzzle, or trying to find any sign of anyone else ever having done so. And it's it's not clear to me, it's quite enigmatic. What, how does this, these are obviously clues to the sequence. They wouldn't be in there extraneously. So how are we supposed to work out the sequence there? So I had a couple of theories on this. I don't know which one is true. None of them really feels correct. Um, but one is sort of trying to trying to parse this um, this text on the sign as some sort of a riddle, right? So as the winds blow, and I wonder if this is to do with directions, right? Is winds change direction? They come from different directions. So maybe that's just saying as the winds blow, like you're supposed to. Directions are important in the puzzle, maybe. The seasons change. And that made me think, um, okay, so maybe um, this sequence, wood, silver, copper, lapis, maybe that's supposed to map to the, to the seasons, the sequence of the seasons. 
And you can kind of see it, but, but not really, not to the point where I think you could solve the puzzle that way. Say, say you go spring, summer, autumn, winter, and then you're supposed to relate one of these materials, um, one of these sign materials to each of those in sequence. Well, I can see why lapis might be winter because lapis is a, is a deep sort of icy blue. And copper for autumn, similarly, makes a lot of sense to me, but I don't know why summer would be silver. Um, and I don't know why spring would be wood. Well, spring could be wood. I suppose trees start to bloom in spring, but silver for summer, they kind of sound a little similar, but I, I just, no, I, I, I don't get that. I don't think that, you, that, that's sort of a, it's kind of a fit if you look back on it afterwards in retrospect, but I don't think you can solve the puzzle that way. I don't think it makes enough sense. So here's my here's my current working theory. This is my best theory that I have so far. It's about the words in the riddle, I think. And this, well, let's see. Okay, so as the winds blow, right, winds, W, the seasons change, S, C, uh, and only at the end of all, end of all is an L, can the doors be opened, right? So you've got W, uh, S, C, L. Wood, silver, copper, lapis. That's what I think they were getting at, but I don't like that puzzle at all. I don't think it's a particularly good one. Um, uh, the fact that it's so obscure, uh, and the fact that it's so easy to brute force, um, doesn't really lend itself to figuring it out. Um, I, I think that's the, I think that's the answer. <sighs> Not my favorite puzzle in the game, I have to say. We're still clearing out all these uh, these skeleton lords and things from the ambush earlier. Uh, and uh, there's quite a few uh, st stragglers that we still need to mop up. So that's going to take a while. But yeah, we'll go down and uh, after we've cleared this one out, I think we go and open that central chamber uh, that I was talking about. Do let me know if you think that that theory holds any water, if you've got any competing theories for this puzzle. It really is something that uh, has caused a lot of people a lot of mystery uh, over the years. Uh, but that's my best guess as to what it means. I, I can't find any any sign of anyone ever proposing that, but it's just I can't think of anything else that makes any more sense than that, even though that doesn't make a great deal of sense. Uh, so I think we just, uh, no, we just got a couple more stra uh, stragglers there. Um, but yeah, after we're done here, uh, we will go and face a few more ambushes and things. The loot in this dungeon is actually pretty good. We're going to find um, a fair amount of gold, and we're getting quite a lot of experience. Oh, there's the temple gong that I mentioned earlier. Um, that's worth a couple of thousand. Um we're getting a fair amount of experience. Oh, a secret door. Okay, this leads up. Now, clearing out that room would have actually been way easier from up there on one of these platforms at the sides, but I didn't know about it at the time. Um, I could have just uh, used a bow from up there and cleared out a lot of those, I think with a lot less hassle and grief than, uh, than how I actually did it. Uh, okay, so we've explored most of the side rooms now. Uh, we're just heading down and into back into the main room and uh, trying to find that central room and then we're going to find our way out to the treasure room uh, to uh, to mop up the uh, the spoils of battle. Um, okay, yeah, so I said I was going to make an announcement uh, about the future of this series and uh, what I meant by that is that I'm just going to put it on a little bit of a break because I only have a certain amount of free time to work on videos, and these Let's Plays are actually a fairly time-consuming thing. Um, at the, as you can see, just open, just open the uh, the doors in Northeast Southwest there. But just gonna go out there and uh, heal some conditions and stuff. We've got some pretty bad situations there. Editor right over there. Um, I only have a finite amount of time to work on videos. I've got a full-time job, uh, and uh, there's it, it's a fair number of hours of work to get into uh, to uh, get each of these things out. 
And there's other projects that I want to work on as well. This is really sort of preventing me from making progress on those things. So I think what I'm going to do is um, up until the point where I've finished the big project that I want to work on, which is the thing that I've mentioned in the past, the sort of uh, documentary historic account of the Might and Magic series, the Cardinal games in the series as a whole. Um, I'm going to take a break from doing the uh, doing the Let's Plays so I can focus on getting that thing finished. Because there's a lot of work and I'm really making no progress week on week. Because this and my GeoGuessr videos are just taking up the bulk of my time. Um, so I think, yeah, I, I, I think basically uh, that's, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to take a break up until, well, I'd like to get the thing out by Christmas, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But I think, basically, I will resume the Let's Play of Might and Magic 6 after this episode, at such point as I've finished the other video, however long that takes. And then I'll be able to put a good few hours a week into getting that thing done. Um, that's the plan, anyway. So this isn't going away. I really want to see it through. It is a long-term project. Um, I think that I am getting a little bit better at it. Oh yeah, I got completely lost there. So I've just uh, um, skipped over about five minutes of walking around aimlessly. Um, there, that's one of the final chests. We now have a key to the treasure room. Where is the treasure room? We will, we will see in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a short, uh, a short break uh, from this, or even maybe a, even a long break. I'm not sure. Uh, but I will, um, yes, I will be back with more Let's Play Might and Magic 6, only after that thing is done. There's a lot of work involved, and I can't do both. I just I, I just don't have the time. I'm spreading myself uh, way too thinly to be able to make progress on, uh, on, on, on a big project when I'm also following a weekly schedule. I will, however, keep doing the GeoGuessr videos. I have no intention to stop doing those. The turnaround time on those is much less. And um, you may see a few other smaller things appearing on the channel. Uh, we'll see. I've got a few other ideas that should be a little more straightforward to do. Basically, I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. But these longer form, more scripted, more planned out videos are really the kind of thing that I really want to do on this channel a lot more. That's the, that, sh that is what I want the main content to be. So basically, I just want to figure out how to integrate that sort of work into whatever free time that I can find. Uh, and unfortunately, it means I'm going to have to back down on some other commitments if I'm going to do things like that, at least for the short term. Okay, I should talk about the loot we just found. Uh, there were some nice gauntlets and uh, a few other items of gear. We also found a thing called the Chime of Harmony, and that is a quest uh, hand in back in New Sorpigal. We'll do that next episode, I think. And then we also found a second room with 5,000 gold in it, which is a very uh, nice haul. And everyone's uh, leveled up to level 13 as well. We can train them up. Anyway, I think that's uh, just about it for the runtime of this episode. So I'll be back with more Might and Magic after the first episode of Retro Histories is out. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you then.